dogs, fish balls, hot mommy noodles, pork barbecue, isaw, adidas, banana barbecues, turon, washed down with ice cold buko juice or sagot gulaman. Yummy, fast, easy, convenient, affordable. Commonly known as street foods, Filipinos, young and old, rich and not so rich, are hooked and have made them almost a daily part of their diet. On the other hand, cases of food poisoning due to contamination and outbreak of diarrhea had headlines, resulting into a major public health concern. So there's the dilemma, how to protect consumers from their favorite passion. The Department of Science and Technology in Region 3 formed the Central Luzon Food Safety Team, which is a multi-sectoral approach to address this problem. Their solution? Look at the problem at its source. Choosing the Central Luzon State University as a pilot site, ambulant food vendors and canteen concessionaires were invited to a training seminar on basic food safety practices. The importance of personal hygiene, proper food handling, and waste disposal were also discussed. Cross-contamination usually occurs when different foods are prepared all at once without giving due regard to cleanliness. It is also important that food handlers or servers wear protective clothing like aprons, hairnets, plastic gloves, and face masks. It's even better to have one person assigned to the task of accepting payments. The use of food covers and covered glass food cabinets is also encouraged to prevent dust and other insects from coming into contact with the food. Afterwards, the participants were observed to see how well they were able to incorporate these lessons into their business. The results are encouraging. Karamihan sa mga ambulant vendors at hunting concessionaires ay uh, nag-improve yung services. This pilot project, if proven effective and successful, uh, is hoped to be duplicated in other uh, state, university, and colleges. Once the participants realize that they play an important role in keeping their clients healthy, adapting food safety practices into their food preparations have become second nature. Clients, especially mothers, are happy too, knowing that their loved one's health is secured. Dahil sa food safety team na binuo ng DOSC3, nakakasiguro ako na ligtas at safe ang pagkain nakakainin ng anak ko kahit, kahit mapapishbol man ito o isaw. Dahil safe itong kainin, hindi na ako nangangamba pa. With this initial success, DOST Region 3 will replicate the activity with other stakeholders in the region. Food safety is everybody's concern. Kalusugan mo, kalusugan ko. Sa food safety, sigurado.